dear student today i am going to discuss the two relational algebra operation the cross product and the join operation so before we start of this topic cross product first we should know why we study about this uh, operation see here we have two relation the one is the emp and another one is the department relation this is the emp relation and this is the department relation right now if the query is display the name of the employees along with the department name or display the name of the employees who belong to mechanical department so to solve such type of queries we have to join these two relations emp and department it is not possible to display the name and uh, department name from one table so we just find the cross product of these two relation the cross product is represented by this uh, cross symbol so emp cross department in relational algebra uh, if we want to join these two relation then we can write it like this emp cross department so when we find the cross product of these two relation then the two question arise the one is how many attributes in the resulting relation right uh, how many attributes in the resulting relation so in emp relation there are three attributes and in uh, department relation there are two attributes so the total number of attribute in resulting relation is 5 right now the question arises how many attribute uh, tuples in the resulting relation so the tuples in uh, employee table there are three tuples three tuples and in department table there are two tuples so then the total tuple is 6 3 multiplied by 2 that means the tuple of emp multiplied by tuple of department so the total tuple is 6 right so the total attribute is 5 and the total number of tuple is 6 now the question arises what is the nomenclature of the attribute name in the resulting table so in resulting table the name of the attribute is like this one emp dot ss number emp dot uh, name emp dot uh, department number emp dot uh, department number and department dot department number and department dot department so i think there is no problem in this line now how we multiply the employee table and department table see this is the first tuple of employee table and this is the first tuple of department table so multiply this first tuple with this first tuple. That means 101 J10 10, 10 CS. Now the first tuple of employee table multiply the second tuple of department table, like 101 J10 10, and 20 mechanical is there. Now the second tuple of employee table multiplied by first tuple of department table, like this one 102 Manoj 20 is the first, uh, second tuple of employee table and 10 cs is the first tuple of uh, department uh, relation here 102 manos 20 is the second tuple of employee relation and 20 mechanical is the second tuple of department relation and so on so th this is the way to multiply uh, this uh, employee cross department now the question arises how you can uh, write the solution uh, of this query display the name of the employees who work for mechanical department so like uh, in sql all of you are familiar uh, right uh, like uh, select emp dot name from emp comma department where department dot department name is equal to mechanical so if you fire this query in sql right then you will get the correct answer what is your opinion because here what you are doing emp cross department uh, emp cross department so in emp cross department condition is department dot department name is equal to mechanical so when you write this query 
in sql then what happened the mechanical is this one the mechanical is this one the mechanical is this one and the mechanical is this one right so there are three names jay manoj and raj is displayed who belong to mechanical department but see this is wrong because from this table only that manoj belong to mechanical department because manoj department number is 20 and 20 over here is 20 so only manoj is there so what does it mean is it man mean that when we find the cross product of the two relation like uh, emp cross department uh, in relation algebra we can write it emp cross department and in sql we can write it select a step from emp comma department so when you simple find out the cross product of the two relation then what happened the spurious tuple will be generated now the question arises: what is the spurious tuple spurious tuple means like where emp dot department number is not equal to department dot department number like in this relation this emp dot department number is not equal to department dot department number similar uh, in this uh, tuple this is not equal to similar in the last tuple emp dot department number is not equal to department dot department number so all these three tuples all these three tuples all these three tuples are known as spurious tuple are known as spurious tuple so spurious tuple are those tuple which give the wrong information which give the wrong information so this is the spurious tuple right so when you find out the cross product of the two relation then the spurious tuple uh, generated so to eliminate the spurious tuple, what you can do uh, in SQL, you can write the query select asterisk from EMP comma department where where EMP dot DNO equal to PT dot DNO. So when you fire this query in SQL, when you fire this query in SQL, then you will get uh, this answer. Then you will get this answer. And uh, in this C, 101, 102, and 103. This answer you will get over there when you fire uh, this query, right? Now, the question arises how we can write all these query in relational algebra? So similar to this one, similar to this one, select a stick from EMP comma department, where department comma this uh, department, uh, EMP dot department number is called department dot department number. Similar to this one uh, query, you can write in a relational algebra query. Now the question is how you can write the query in relational algebra. Now see, in relational algebra, in a relational algebra, you can write this query like this one uh, condition condition and uh, here this emp dot dno is equal to dpt dot dno dpt dot dno right and EMP cross department department so this query this query this query is equivalent to in SQL of this one select a strict form EMP comma department where where emp dot dno is equal to dpt dot dno so in sql you can write the query like this one so uh, the relational algebra query in sql you can write in this way right 
now the query over here is display the name of the employees who belong to mechanical department so in relational algebra you can write the solution of the query in this way see how pi pi now what you have to display you have to display the name of the employees you have to display the name of the employees emp dot emp dot name emp dot name right and what is the condition the condition is what is the condition the condition is sigma sigma now you have to put the condition the first is the equi condition what is the equi condition the equi condition is emp dot dno is equal to dpt dot dno is the uh, first condition and you can write this and here uh, and and the another query is mechanical department mechanical department means mechanical from department department dot d name department dot d name is equal to mechanical this one this one right and uh, now uh, from which table from which table the table is from emp cross department emp cross department so equivalent to this query equivalent to this query in sql in sql if you want to write equivalent to this query in sql then the query in sql is this one select select emp dot name from emp comma department emp comma department where emp dot department number is equal to department dot department number and and what department dot department name department dot uh, department name is equal to mechanical mechanical so mechanical so equivalent to this query uh, relational algebra in sql you can write this one right so uh, i hope all of you understand uh, the simple uh, cross product uh, in uh, relational algebra right now i am going to discuss the next uh, operation that is the join operation right so the join operation is uh, we can understand by the help of uh, same uh, relation emp and uh, department and suppose the query is same display the name of the employees who work for mechanical department same query the same query you if you want to write in terms of join operation now the question arises how you can write this query in the join operation so the join operation is uh, uh, the join symbol is represent by this one here uh, this one this is the representation of join operation like this one this one so this is a replacement of this one cross product and condition so when you are using the join operation then no need to use the cross product and the condition over there right now see uh, the next thing thing when you just join uh, these two relation emp or department then uh, this is the simple representation of emp cross department so i hope uh, everything is uh, clear uh, over here right in terms of uh, relational algebra if you want to write the solution in terms of uh, relational algebra then in relational algebra you can write uh, this like in this way uh, in this way uh, emp emp sorry 
So this is the symbol of join over here. This is the symbol of join over here, right? This is the symbol of join over here. And over here, write the condition. The condition what? The condition is EMP dot DNO is equal to department dot DNO. Department dot DNO. And uh, here, write the department table. With the help of join operation, you can write EMP. This is the representation of join operation. EMP.DNO is equal to department dot department number and department, right? So here what happened? See, uh, in this, in this, in this, we are not using the cross product. We are not using the cross product symbol or the condition symbol. symbol. So, so that uh, I have just written over here, this uh, join uh, is the replacement of cross product and sigma. So uh, the, the query, he, like uh, this one, this one, this one is the output of output of this query. So the, the output of this query is this one. So I hope uh, that everything is clear to everybody, right? And uh, in the next operation, uh, we will discuss the left outer join, right outer join, right? And uh, suppose the same query display the name of the employees who work for mechanical department. The same uh, query you want to write uh, with the help of uh, EMP. Uh, you want, you want to write this query with the help of this uh, join operation, right? So by the help of join operation, if you want to write this query, then you can write pi, pi. Now, what you have to print? You have to print the name of the employees. So name of the employees, you can write over here, emp dot, emp dot name, emp dot name, right? And Bracket open EMP EMP and the join symbol EMP and the join symbol like this one, join symbol like this one, and the condition and the condition condition over here. Condition over here. What is the condition? The condition is EMP dot DNO is equal to DPT dot dno dpt dot dno and uh, the table name that what is the table name the table name is department department so in this way you can write the solution of in this way you can write the solution of uh, the query it display the name of the employees name of the employees who belong to Mac, uh, name of the employees who belong to mechanical department. yes one more thing who belong to mechanical department so here you have to add one more condition like uh, like uh, and 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 what and department dot d name is equal to mechanical department dot d name is equal to mechanical right so uh, department dot d name is equal to mechanical and then the department so in this way you can write the uh, you can use the join operation so i hope uh, everybody understand the cross product and uh, join operation and in next lecture we will discuss the left outer join and right outer join thank you